Dios. Joining us today, and we have the pleasure of meeting her once again, this is Dr. Mildred Dresselhaus from MIT, also this year especially the Von Hippel Award recipient. It's good to see you again. So tell me about what is it like to keep winning these awards, and especially this one, the Von Hippel Award. It must be quite an honor for you. Yes, uh, uh, this is especially interesting and honorific award because I knew uh, Professor Von Hippel for many years, and I was a close friend of his. And there aren't too many people around that still remember him. Well, when did you and, first meet him? Uh, in 1960, I met him, so I met him many, many years ago. And I understand there was kind of a musical tone to it. Didn't he ask right. you to play for him or something? Well, that, that's correct. Uh, he was a man of great culture, a man of the, of the old world, and Renaissance man, hmm. I think you would call him. And uh, he had a string quartet uh, in his research group. And what did you play? And, well, he needed... Uh, I think I was the violist. <laughs> I, 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 I'm normally a violin player, ah. but he had a really good first violin uh, player, so he didn't need me for that. <laughs> but he needed a viola player, and uh, so I think I was that. And sometimes I think I did second violin too in the in the quartet. I was uh, sort of a pinch hitter <laughs> here and there. And uh, so I, I did this for many years, huh. actually. I was part of his quartet. Because even after he retired, yeah. he, uh, he still had a quartet that used Isn't to that come. is something? Or musicians used to come and serenade him, especially for his birthday. That was a thing that we did. And he had a lot of birthdays, didn't he? <laughs> he had a lot of birthdays, that's right. And uh, uh, for the big ones, you know, the even years, you know, like, I remember the 70th, 75th was a big one. Mm. And then the 90th was another big one. And we had lots of people, I remember, coming to those. I'll bet. And so, so he influenced you as a musician, but more importantly, <laughs> no, how did he influence only, you as a scientist? Uh, yeah, the, the musician part was only, he didn't really influence me. He, he just You're Kind of a it, hobby. That was a hobby thing. Yeah, yeah. but as a scientist. Yeah. So uh, he was a very broad uh, thinker in the materials mm. field, and he was one of the people that started out with structure property relations and uh, that we uh, uh, invent new materials for different purposes. And uh, during World War II, he was very influential. Uh, you know, he came to the U.S. because of World War II. He was German. Yeah, yeah, yeah he was, uh, he had a Jewish wife though, and so he recognized at an early time that leaving uh, Germany was a good plan. Mm. And uh, so they, he came to MIT in 1936. So that was relatively in a time that it was easier to come. And uh, I believe that he came through Turkey. And huh. He didn't come quite a, a simple way. It was a circuitous route. A to circuitous the US. route. And uh, but then he uh, got a job at MIT, so he was very happy for that. And that's, of yeah, course, he, how you he met was him. A, he was already well known from him because he was a professor at Göttingen. So, ah. so he had a, a, a high position in Europe, which he abandoned. Because, because of, of the war and uh, what the, was going uh, on in Europe. Well, the war hadn't really started mm -hmm. uh, too seriously at the time he emigrated, but uh, it was about to... He saw uh, the writing on the wall. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Now, uh, what are you looking forward to at today's, or I should say, this week's meeting here in Boston? What are some of the things you hope to learn or lectures you hope to well, attend? Well, uh, I, I was uh, following... <laughs> two areas that I work at. Uh, uh, the Materials Research Society has many uh, symposia in the nano world, and that's really where I'm working. Mm. So there are just far too many uh, symposia I, I want to listen to, so I have to narrow my field. Yeah. So It's going to be a busy next few days for you. Right, and uh, well, there are a couple of symposia where I'm giving invited talks, so uh, 
Well, you know, the invited uh, uh, talk uh, speakers are uh, they're, they're generated by independent groups. Mm. So they don't talk to one another, although the, I think they don't like to have people give more than one invited talk. I'm and sure they, they'd make an exception for you. Well, uh, if, if, it, if it just happens to occur, I think that it's unavoidable. And uh, luckily, uh, you try to make these independent so you, you can attend both. But you can't attend all the seminars. You can't the be speaking. everywhere. You know, I can't be everywhere. Even lunch. you. Yeah. <laughs> well, right. thank you so much, Dr. Right. Mildred Dresselhaus. It's always good to see you. Always an honor to talk to you. And one more time, the Von Hippel Award recipient. Congratulations on that. Enjoy right. the meeting. Thank you so much.